this is a story about a guy named Mel. He's a lot like you and me, except he lives in a place called Hollywood, which isn't even really there. He's married, but he fools around a lot. And he's got an incompetent nephew who makes him crazy a lot. And a psychiatrist who's trying to make him sane, but that isn't really happening a lot. He's got a soon-to-be ex-wife who'd like to see him dead, and that might actually happen. He runs a movie studio called Hopeless. His life is a mess, and you should be glad you're not him. Oh, my God. Uh, I'm tipping. Oh, I can't hold on. I can't hold on. Oh, I'm, all, I'm off balance here. Oh, Sandy, hold on tight. Tighter. Ah, oh, that's too tight. Yeah, okay, better. Yeah. So, Tracy. Tracy, you're slipping, you're, you're slipping. Oh my God, oh my God, we're all slipping away. So I'm, I'm on the tightrope and I got this pole across my shoulders and it's, on one end I got Sandy dangling by her teeth and Tracy's hanging from the other one. Music, the circus music is driving me nuts and I just, uh, what is that, what, what, is, what does it mean? You know, the, you know the dream where you're naked in school? Yeah. I'm wearing tights in the circus, just so you know. I'm not naked. I'm wearing you know, fairly revealing tights, but I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm okay in that department. Hold on one minute. I got to take this. Hold on. Hi. Yes, I, I'm not trying to be rude, but I'm, I'm, I'm a little rushed for time. So hit me. Make well, me very happy. I, I have an idea for a movie, and I want to... It's called Animals and Neighbors. Animals and Neighbors? I'm intrigued. Go. I... I don't know. I'll just I'll just get right into you it. Launch right into it. It's good. it's based on something that I had going in my own life. The uh, the the idea is this: uh, a couple move to a, a strange city, and they get settled into their place. They move in and they buy their things that they need. They start. Uh, oh, could you hold on one second? Hello. It's Sandy. Hi. Hi. We have to talk about the settlement proposal. Look, I know. I, we, Why don't we just leave, leave, leave that to the lawyers, no, okay? No, it's I'm, I'm not going to leave it to the lawyers. <sighs> Look, Sandy, okay, what is it? Give me the short version because I'm on the phone with my shrink. I'm trying to put my life back together here. Well. <laughs> help me, help me. You're going to need more than just one phone call. Well, make it short and sweet. What's, what's your problem? What do you need? All right, here I go. I want the house. The whole house. You want the whole the house. house without paying me my half of the... You know, in other words, you want to take the profit. The house, the, profit. the whole house. The Rolls Royce, mm -hmm. the Country Club membership. Well, that's uh, these aren't you know what? I want all of it. All right, good, good, good. Go on. I want all the Limoges. <sighs> I don't even know what that is. I want all the china, all the silver. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But you can have the you can have the dessert china. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. And it's too ornate. Mm -hmm. And I need to have not all of the ashtrays, but I want the blue one. Mm -hmm. I want those little I, ones I, from your Sandy, 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 I'm sorry. Sandy, I, get the, I have to take this call. Cigar. I got to take this call. I got to take this call. Okay. Wait. We'll, we'll, all right. Hold on. I'm sorry. I, I just had to grab that one. Yeah, yeah. Go on. I'm listening. What is it? What, what do you think? You must be longing for something. Obviously. I'm, I, I feel very precarious on the type. Longing. Yeah, yeah. You're in a tent. Ah. The big tent needs a tent pole, right? I need a tent pole movie. I need a movie that spreads out to as far as the eye can see, sequels up the ass. So, oh, could you hold on one second? I got to I got to take this. Yeah, back, sorry. They start uh getting settled, mowing the lawn, yeah. getting the mail, everything seems normal, yeah. and then they start looking around and they start noticing that their neighbors are not human. They're they're different kinds of animals. Hmm. And one, an one, one group is a, a family of llamas. And then on the other side, they have a family of Canadian geese. And then in the back, it's a, it's a few different kinds of reptiles. There are yeah. turtles and lizards. Hmm. It's interesting. I'm, I'm, I'm seeing, I'm seeing a very, very cute setup here. This is lovely. I think this is an idea that you could develop. I can't greenlight this project because it's just. It, it, I don't think it's ready yet. Right now, we got a good start. I'm not saying no, but I'm not saying yes. 
And I got another call. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. All right. Uh, all of the I'm incense... almost at my meeting, so you know, when you get to the end of my possessions that you want to Why retain, is everything yours? No, well, I'm just saying... The only thing that's well, mine uh, right now is today, and this car, I'll keep this suit, and I'll everything. keep this parking space that I'm pulling into I now. I gotta go. Okay. I want the Buddha. You got it. The big Buddha, the big the, Buddha I head. know what you're talking about, the big Buddha. Uh, okay. All right, I'll fax you the rest. Okay, love you. Goodbye. So, you got anything else, Gil? Yes, mm -hmm. I have another idea. Mm -hmm. if you... you have a minute? I uh, do. This movie would be called Petisseroos. And what it is, it's a classic Western. Uh huh. But the, uh, the catch is all the characters are desserts. For example, yeah. you've got uh, the sheriff is creme brulee. Oh. And uh, maybe the outlaws are uh, a baked Alaska yeah. and a, a cherry tort. Did, and you, did you write this when you were really hungry? I, I was really hungry when I yeah, wrote it, yeah. yeah. But so uh, what's the what's 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 the heat? Where's the heat? Well, we could have a gang of brownies, and they they could be the bad guys, oh, and gosh. and they they come into town, shooting their guns everywhere, and uh, well, this is very cute. I, I'm thinking animation, though. You don't do this live action, right? No, I thought it, we would do it live action. Really? Like they would actually be desserts. Hmm. Well, who who do you see for uh, the sheriff? Well, uh, m maybe uh, a key lime pie for the sheriff. Right. I was thinking more what actor could play key lime, but listen, Nick Nolte's free. Okay. Yeah, I, I thought uh, Mel Gibson. Yeah, he's for the trouble. Sheriff. Mel's trouble. Uh, I love Mel, personally, don't get me wrong, but he's trouble. Maybe, I'm seeing uh, uh, Lithgow and um, Lati. That's good. That's good. But would you do me a favor? Would you go home? Would you work on this a little bit? I will um, yeah. call you in a in a few weeks. Okay. Then, if after I've ironed out some of this. Okay, that's good. Thank you for calling. Oh man, I don't know. This is that kind of picture that could uh, really, really get me the respect that I'm missing. But it's not going to be my big summer movie. I don't know what to do. Don't be a fool. Play for the big weekend. Follow the money. Go to Academy Awards. No. Independent Spirit. 007. Fahrenheit 911. Robotses. Sidewayses. Hang with Will and Jada. Hang with Tim and Susan. Money, money, money. Steve. Car. And the boats and the women. Respect of my peers. Helicopter chases. Lesbian prison drama. Menage a trois at Cannes. Mise en scène at Cannes. Party at the Waldorf. Party at the Chelsea. Follow the man, follow the dream. Your Honor, the man is a philanderer. We have evidence of at least. 12 different people involved in extramarital affairs with him, not at once, but over a period of time, although two of them were at once. Um, my client is asking for the following items, the vintage Mercedes-Benz 450 SL, the Limoges, his parents' china, the picnic basket, the luggage, the house. She would like all riding implements, really very snazzy uh, Porsche SUV, all forms of unused media, blank CDs, paper, blank tapes. She would like the Hummels, except for the small boy with the umbrella, which she finds disturbing. Uh, good morning, campers, and it is a good morning because it means it's no longer last night. Uh, last night was, of course, the scene of a disastrous preview of Starship Calliope. We had some of the worst preview cards I have ever read in my life. Uh, and that, yes. Mel, did you want some? I brought you some coffee. Well, thank you so much. I'll just take it intravenously, if you don't mind. <clears throat> anyway, onward and upward. We can no longer count on Calliope as our tentpole movie. Now somebody make me happy. I have actually, I, we, I, I have a Holocaust movie that I'd like to do. Mm -hmm. Ooh, timely. Mm -hmm. so listen, one out of every three is huge. Mm, right. Okay, go. Okay. 
It's called Meeny Miney Mo, and it's a father that actually has to make a choice about his kids. Mm. He's got three kids. Um, Are their names Eeny, Meeny, and Mo? No. Meeny, no, Miney, that's, Mo. I think that's how he chooses them. Is that so how it's kind of like Sophie's it? choice. But, but a yeah. guy. But with an but extra with, one. With a, a childish a, game a, yeah, yeah, involved. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it's called Eeny, Miney, or no, Mo. No, Meeny, no. Miney, Miney, Mo. Miney, Sam, Mo. take notes. Right. Now, yeah. what is this about, this mm-hmm. film? Well, it's, it's about a man's choice rather than a, you know, mm. w- woman's choice. Mm-hmm. And um, mm-hmm. Where's the mother? She's dead. She's dead. But what could be good about this, it could be funny, too. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm. Little, little moments of hilariousness. Are I don't they know actually where in they would the be. concentration camp? Or is this on the way to the concentration? Yeah, yeah. yeah maybe on the yeah, way. We want to make it a road picture. Mm-hmm. And uh, maybe and, they and, escape and at the end. He doesn't have to make the choice. So and maybe there, there could like be a, a scene in the dining car. Or, you so. know, they're not allowed in the dining yeah. car. I don't know how they... I, I don't, don't know that they No, it's not so much dining cars. Just it's just in a box right, let's, car. Let's table the Holocaust stuff, okay? I'm getting really depressed. Anybody have anything else? Something that won't make me want to commit suicide? Something funny. Something exciting. Something that it looks like it might make a dollar. Oh, Mill, it's a bio a biopic about the man who invented tissue paper. Yeah. It's a very, very interesting story because the guy gets the idea while he's abroad in Asia and he sees something uh, people are using cloth to blow their noses on uh, and wipe themselves with. So he winds up getting this idea, taking this idea, bringing it back to the U.S. and... Uh, well, we know how it ends because everyone knows of, knows what tissue is today. But how we get there, who he becomes, who filters in and out of his life, that's what makes this a special story. <sighs> All right, guys, um, let's wrap this. We got to do something here. You know, it's going to be summer. We need something big, something intelligent, but not so intelligent that people are going to get scared away. We want action, lots of heart. I'm looking for guys 18 to 24. We want women 40 to 60. What is this, uh, math? Come on, I mean, just just give me, bring me that audience and bring them to me now, okay? Just go, 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 go. Thank you. I th- that's a cue to leave. <laughs> Mom, Dad, I wish you were here to tell me what kind of movies people want to see. I don't seem to have it anymore. Dog pictures. Yeah. Dog pictures. Yeah. You agree? I agree. Dog the, pictures. The, the biscuit eater. That one was that, a good picture. That's that's an old yeller. That was a the, good picture. There's another one. Uh, Bambi. Bambi. That, that, that was that a dog? A, I'd like to see a film where you run away with your dog and you go underwater to hide. They float on down right. into the deep. I hope the they've depths. got they've got writers. They've got oh, writers. That's what they to, have to writers for. Yes. That's why they have them. Is that Give, enough? Well, heck, you know, he wants advice. He could I, take a cat too. I do love a cat. A cat. Yeah. All right. Uh, make it a, a dog who likes a cat that uh, goes underwater. Then uh, get your writers to figure, figure out. Figure out and do what? something with it. Do something. Oh. Ow. Underdog. Underdog. Deborah. Yes, Mr. West. Hi. Um, do me a favor. Uh, get me somebody at Litho Press. I want to talk to somebody about the rights to something called Underdog. She's allowing him to take some of the spices from the spice rack, provided that he puts the spices loose in Ziplocs and leaves the actual spice containers so that the appearance of the rack is not compromised. She is demanding, and this is absolutely non-negotiable, she is demanding his uh, collection of sports equipment. Um, And she's very honest, and I think we need to honor this. She really only wants that from a place of vengeance. Deborah, did you find Nora? Were you able to find Nora Efron? She said she'd love to talk to you, but um, she had to go and get her dog re-spayed. Uh, what? They had spayed her, yeah. the dog. But it hadn't taken, and so she had to go back. That's not and like an so, all-day thing, though. How long does it take to spay something? Well, she said that if you called back between 12.05 and 12.07, that she thought she might be able to squeeze you in. Okay. Right. But she said if that's not good... That's fine. Oh, good. Well, then it's perfect. Done then. deal. Okay, okay. Great. Uh, I gotta take this call. Absolutely. I gotta take this call.
Dr. Stein speaking. Hi, Mel Wax. Hey, Mel. I've decided to greenlight uh, Underdog, the movie. Okay. Um, and part of me is saying, you don't want to do that. You know, it's, it's you're going to miss the whole charm of the original TV thing, and it's just going to be a piece of junk. And, and the other half of me is going, no, no, do it, do it. Keep yourself busy. Keep yourself on the floor, you know. Uh, you know, I've been having these voices in my head saying, no, oh, you're selling out, you're doing crap, you're not doing the kind of committed stuff you would really, really wanted to do. Helicopter chases, lesbian prison drama. Follow the money. Follow the dream. I, I, I'm, I'm literally hearing okay, them I'm now. Gonna, I'm, I'm going to call something into your pharmacy, which I would like you to pick up. Okay, for you? And uh, no. Oh, pick up for this, me. Yeah. This is this is a medication that I think will help help you quiet those voices. Really? I'm just worried about you know. Sometimes you get that little inner voice that says you know, don't let this guy park your car. I don't want to lose that voice. Because uh, then, then I'll, I you know can, what I'm you, can, you can mess with the dosage. Oh, okay, okay. But as far as you're making peace with the part of you that feels like you're selling out, yeah. Don't worry about it. Okay, I think the pills will take care of that. Pills can help you with that, and also I think you know who the people are who accuse you of selling out. Well, Daniel Day Lewis. Those are the people who don't have the courage to sell out. Ah. I don't think you are selling out. I think you're trading up. <laughs>